This is Tony Hendrick with Painting Spirit. So today's subject is going to be natural. And it's going to be a continuation of a subject that came up a couple of days ago, which was through me. And I talked yesterday a little more about that, shared a little story, uh, changed the subject to awareness, and today is natural, and I think it all has the same to do with that energy that comes through me when painting, that place that just feels right, feels in some ways effortless. It's not necessarily that it's not an intense energy, but there's a flow to it. And so I thought maybe the subject of things that are natural might be a fun one to talk about because I think it has a lot to do with that. So, let's see here. I'm kind of in a, a little bit of an undecided mode this morning. Got a little bit of a late start. That was a, a very <laughs> elementary image of natural for me. I had about three seconds to throw something on my canvas just before I hit the camera. Anyway, so let me share a little story. Because yesterday I shared a, a story, a kind of a success story of being in the flow. And... Today I thought it might be nice to share a little more of a revealing story that has more dimensionality to it, where the success isn't so apparent, because I allowed my... the aspect of I don't know if you want to call it the ego or whatever to get in my my way I guess I've decided to work from a photo this morning we'll see how it turns out I'm going to kind of move a little more quickly with this so right around the time when I was switching from painting in oils to acrylics I had a a show at a gallery here locally in Lansing I think it was a fairly new gallery um, boy I can't even remember the name it no longer exists or alley or something like that. Um, anyway, at that time I had, a, you know, several of my paintings that I've done over the years in this show, larger paintings, but I had decided to do these smaller landscape paintings. Just basically, for me, it was testing out these new acrylics, new to me, these golden open acrylics, seeing if I could paint <clears throat> the same way that I enjoyed painting with with oils. Right now I'm using a lot of medium to move the paint, and it's one of the aspects that I really like about these golden open acrylics I used a lot of medium when I 
painted in oils to get that fluid gooeyness going. And anyway, so had this exhibition. It's a good turnout. Sold paintings, sold a lot of these smaller landscape paintings. So I was just feeling really good about it because moved away from some of these larger works that I had been doing into these smaller landscapes that I've been wanting to do. And at that show, there was somebody who owns a, a business there that he reached out to me and asked if he could sponsor me to do a, a, a mural for an art prize. And I had been involved with showing my work at art prize since it began. This was only in the early years of art prize. If you're not familiar with Art Prize, it's a big worldwide event here locally in Michigan where there's large monetary prizes. I think like a half a million dollars worth of prizes. Maybe even a quarter million goes to one person. I can't remember where it's at right now. It's been an evolving thing. So I got really excited about this. Um, there was a limit to the amount that they were wanting to... It was essentially a grant. I don't even think I had to sign anything, any real sponsorship. It was just something that they really wanted to do. They wanted to support Art Prize and and... And this would be an opportunity for me to do something with a, a large mural by that time it's pretty obvious that big works got people's attention in art prize I think the public voting was a big aspect of it back then where now it's more split between jury awards and let's let me get this is a little bit of a complex image that I got going here. Let's see, what do I want? What do I want? Let me bring in some dark blues here. Create some shadows. So the sponsorship wasn't big. I said to myself, you know, this is a real good opportunity. I can do this. Might be able to swing it and pay my bills. I think it was something where it would take me about six weeks to do. So I wasn't going to be making any money doing this, but I could maybe pay my bills. <laughs> so I was really stretching it to take on this, this project. Just felt like such a cool opportunity for me. The location was a difficult thing to to get going and I ended up with a, a location that was way out away from the the main hub of Art Prize but it was a great location it was on a art school wall Coy Arts Academy and the mural that I did. If you are familiar with my work, you might have seen it. Young Oak Reaching. And so much of it felt very natural to me. The, the subject that I chose was nature. Actually, my son 
standing next to a young oak reaching up into the sky. Just everything about it felt really on target with me. But it was also a lot of effort going on, a lot of work. And I started to let myself go into this realm of getting caught up in the whole art prize thing, thinking, oh, geez, this is an opportunity. I could get some attention with this. This is a large mural. This is a cool thing. This, and by the time art prize started, I had gotten so caught up in that and I didn't really realize it because I was also caught up in, you know, creating this, this mural. But I remember it might have even been the day that Art Prize started. I was trying to get stuff printed up to maybe direct people down to where the mural is from the main hub so it would get a little more traffic to it. And something wasn't working out, and all that stress that had been building over that time period, I just ended up breaking down in tears. So there was this aspect of really kind of taking what felt natural to me and making this about something different than what was just flowing through me, getting caught up in, like I said, yes, or not yesterday, but maybe it was the day before, when something's coming through me, it's th coming through me, it's not necessarily about me, and I was starting to make things about me with this mural. And I lost sight of all the wonderful things that had happened around it. The school that was on. I mean, I didn't lose sight of it. I was aware of it, but it just became... There was a conflict inside me, let's put it that way. It was a conflict. And... You know, I had a friend help me install this mural. Actually, several people helped me install it. There's just so many wonderful things about it. And those all got swallowed up by this part of me that needed it to be more than... Needed, to, needed, to, needed it to be about me as opposed to what was coming through me. Anyway, I'm not so sure this painting today is complete right now, but it is what came through me today. Maybe I'll continue on talking about this idea of having things coming through me. Maybe make it into a series that you can binge watch. <laughs> well, that little bit of red helped. I want to leave it there. Sometimes I f try and finish these paintings off, and I look at it midway while I'm look at re watching the video, and I say, oh, you know, I should, could have stopped right there. I'm going to stop right here. I'm not going to continue working on this. So we'll see you tomorrow. It's tomorrow Friday? I think so. So we'll see you tomorrow. Get out your own brushes. Find what's natural for you. Maybe I'll talk about this subject a little more tomorrow. I don't know if I really captured it all today, but have fun. We'll see you tomorrow.